Did you know that in Borderlands the pre-sequel, if you try to select Claptrap as your character, the game will do everything in its power to convince you otherwise? Hello and welcome to Hidden Video Game Details, the series that aims to show you things that you may not have known about your favourite games so that you can look really clever in front of Donkey from Shrek. As always, if you think you know of a hidden video game detail that I am yet to cover, then please let me know in the comments down below. Before we get started though, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Acer and Xbox Game Pass. Acer were kind enough to send me the Predator Triton 500 SE gaming laptop so that I could try out some of the excellent games available on Xbox Game Pass. Right now, every new Acer Predator desktop or laptop, including the Triton 500 SE seen here, comes with a free month of Xbox Game Pass for PC. That means as soon as you've set up your sparkly new machine, hundreds of games are waiting for you to play, including the likes of Halo Infinite, Rainbow Six Extraction, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Forza Horizon 5, and more. I mean, it's no secret how good Game Pass is. If you do decide to opt for the Triton 500, then you'll have one hell of a machine to play all of those games on. The Triton 500 is not only super slim, but also super powerful, with the ability to overclock the system at the touch of a button, thanks to Acer's Predator Sense technology. The Triton 500 also comes with custom engineered 5th gen Aeroblade fan technology, which means even with all that power, the Triton 500 will remain cool meaning that you can play for longer. Honestly, the inclusion of one month of Game Pass for PC makes the already brilliant Predator Triton 500 SE an even better deal. So why not click on the link in the description to check it out for yourself. Once again, a huge thank you to Acer and Xbox for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out in the description. And without further delay, let's get started. So it recently dawned on me that I haven't featured Call of Duty Vanguard once on this channel since its release. That's crazy, especially as a lot of my most popular videos are Call of Duty videos. Now this wasn't intentional, I didn't purposely avoid the game, it just had nothing of note worth covering. Well, that was until today. During Vanguard's very first mission, if you manage to take out all of the trucks, your teammates will be impressed. Listen, I know that this isn't the most mind-blowing detail that I've ever shared, but I can only work with what I've got. Let me know if you've noticed any Vanguard details in the comments down below. Next up is another extremely cool hidden detail from Deathloop. For those that don't know, the whole premise of Deathloop is that you have one day to explore the island of Black Reef before dying and doing it all over again. You simply select the location on the island, the time of day you want to visit said location, and away you go. One of the areas that you can visit is Carl's Bay, and it's at this seaside location that we can find a man playing the guitar. When the day begins, the man's playing isn't great. Checking back in on him in the afternoon, and he has made a slight improvement. Finally, when returning to the budding guitarist in the evening, he is now an accomplished player. Yeah. 
This is a really cool detail because it demonstrates how the world of Deathloop changes in a very subtle way. So recently, Dead by Daylight received its latest DLC pack in the form of the Sadako Rising add-on. Bringing with it a new killer and a new survivor, the DLC is based on the 1998 Japanese movie Ringu. Now, the new killer, Sadako, is extremely creepy, with even her lobby animation being absolutely terrifying. Well, it turns out that's not the scariest thing that Sadako can do whilst in the lobby. While sitting idle in the lobby, Sadako will perform Doctor Strange-like gestures while she waits for you to start playing again. Well, if you continue to keep her waiting, there is a chance that she'll do this. Oh, and heads up, jump scare incoming. <laughs> Yeah, so I knew this was coming and it still made me jump. What's really annoying is, even if you turn Sadako around so that she isn't facing the camera, she's still able to give you a fright. I've mentioned before that I do like to play the odd wrestling game. Don't get me wrong, I'm not an expert in all things greased up beefcakes, but I always pay attention when a new wrestling game is released. Thankfully, the recently released WWE 2K22 is a massive improvement over the shambolic 2K20. And this year's entry into the franchise even has some hidden details that WWE fans may not have noticed. If it's been some time since you last stepped foot into the squared circle, you may want to head to the tutorial section for a quick refresh. The lessons are dished out by WWE wrestler Drew Gulak, who stands at ringside whilst you're shown the ropes. Pun intended. Well, if you're not the learning type, you can leave the ring and uh, <clears throat> have a word with Mr. Gulak. Hey, focus! I know you want a shot at me, but now isn't the time. Weakness number 174 has bad aim. Okay, so it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but if you can make contact with Drew, he will make several funny comments about your strange behavior. Oh, and that's not the only thing that you can do to prompt a response from Drew. If you climb to the top rope during the tutorial, he will say this. What are you doing up there? This is a no-fly zone. Even I can admit that was kind of cool. But don't do it again. Whoa! Safe and sound, feet on the ground. That's what I always say. How many times are you going to do that? Refer to slide number 167. Top rope dives are strictly prohibited. I know what you're thinking, but risky diving attacks are not the Gulak way. The other detail that I've noticed whilst playing 2K22 is something that I've always loved when it happened in real life. You may remember a few months back that I shared the ability to break the ring in WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Well, it turns out that you can also break the ring in 2K22, though doing so does require a bit of effort. To destroy the ring, you'll first need to select two very heavy wrestlers. I chose Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman for obvious reasons. They're both absolute units. Then you just need to wail on your opponent until their health bar is almost depleted before throwing them into the turnbuckle. Lift your opponent to the top of the turnbuckle by pressing up on the right stick and then hold either circle on PlayStation or B on Xbox for this to happen. A lot of weight on the top rope right now. These two behemoths. No way. No. Honestly, this will never not be awesome to me, so I love that it's included in 2K22. The final details for today's video once again come from 2019's Modern Warfare. Now, there was a period during the lifespan of Black Ops Cold War that I was obsessed with the Mastercraft variants of weapons, particularly their unique Inspector animations. Yeah. 
Well, one thing that I never mentioned is that some guns actually produce unique blood splatters. For example, if you're using the Blunt Force Rytec AMR, killing an enemy will cause this to happen. So the blood splatter will be a marijuana leaf. Oh, and if you empty the Rytex clip, when you reload the weapon, a big puff of smoke will leave the gun. The final detail for today's video can be found in Modern Warfare's excellent campaign. During the embedded mission, Farah asks Alex to plant C4 on two helicopters to distract the enemy forces in the area. Well, did you know that you can actually avoid the need for C4? If you manage to kill all of the enemies in the area, and there is quite a lot of them, not only will you no longer need to place the C4, but Farah will also say this. Oh, Okay, that was pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, it's probably not worth the hassle. I mean, it's only one line of dialogue, but as Farah says, it is cool. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of hidden details and Easter eggs in video games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. A big thank you all for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.